pretty good, right? You crazy mother... I can't do this trick. I don't know why. If any of you guys can do late flips, please give me some tips on how to freaking land it in the comments because I can't do it. All right, guys, yeah. I don't know why I can't late shove it, but I just I just can't do it. I've been trying that trick for like months and months. I just I just I just cannot do that trick. If any of you guys can late shove it, let me know in the comments like a little just put like a little trick tip in the comments because I really want to learn it. Like I got really really close a couple times, but I just can't I just can't land it. But anyway guys, not too long ago, like the other day, I got a comment that says, can you do a how to ollie higher tutorial? I've been skating on and off for three years and can't figure out how to ollie higher than 10 inches. I've watched and read a, I just hit my camera. I've watched and read a ton of tutorials, but I still can't get it. Any help would be super. Well, let me try to explain. Guys, my freaking battery died. My fir The first battery, I have two batteries for this camera. The first one died when I was trying the stupid late shove it off the curb, and then the second one died right after that. So I guess the second one wasn't, you know, fully charged or whatever. But anyway, it's the next day because yesterday I didn't want to go home, charge my camera, and then come back out and keep filming and blah, 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 and do all that. So it's the next day, but I'm back and I'm gonna try and teach you how to ollie higher. This is for the person that left the comment and you know, whoever else just wants to learn how to ollie higher. But anyway, I'm not gonna do like a how to ollie tutorial because I'm guessing you already know how to ollie. You said you can ollie. You just said you can't ollie higher than 10 inches. So I'm just gonna teach you how to ollie higher. I'm not gonna teach you, you know, how to ollie. But if there's anybody out there who can't ollie and you guys wanna see like a full in-depth how to ollie like trick tip, let me know. But anyway, now because you can ollie, there could be like, you know, a couple of reasons why your ollies aren't as high as you want them to be. Number one being, if you try to pop with your back foot too, like if you're, if, if too much of your back foot is too on the tail, you know what I mean? Your ollies won't be as high as if you're, if you're only using your toes to pop, you're gonna ollie a lot higher. That's one reason and I'm gonna demonstrate right now. Okay, so if your back foot is like this and you're trying to ollie then your ollies won't be as high as they would be if you're just popping with your toes like this see how only my toes are right there and not my whole foot like that so if you're ollieing like this don't ollie like that ollie like this with your with your toes on the tail because that just pops the board a lot quicker and if more of your foot is on the tail like this then it just it just it'll slow down your ollie I don't know how or why that happens but it's true if you use your toes it'll pop a lot quicker and a lot higher. Now, if your ollies are like, you know, kind of like if it, like if it feels kind of uncomfortable when you ollie, there's two things that can make you a little bit more comfortable when you ollie. One of them being, if you skate tighter trucks, you're gonna ollie a little bit, you know, better and higher than if you were, like if you skate loose trucks, then your ollies are not gonna be as high as you would like them because when your trucks are looser, 
you know your body is like leaning from back to forth on your board which is uncomfortable and it doesn't it doesn't give you like a, a crisp stiff ollie does that make sense yeah if your trucks are loose tighten them and then try and do it like that and that might be a little bit more comfortable but if you're just a person that you know skates loose trucks like the feeling of like your feet going back and forth when you try to ollie higher is just something you're gonna have to get used to but hopefully that makes sense because when your trucks are tighter you know your feet aren't moving all over the place and when you bend down you know to do the ollie your trucks won't bend as much which will make your ollies you know stiffer and like it'll make it pop higher now another way to make your ollies feel a little bit more comfortable like if you're just learning them is to put your skateboard like your back wheels of your board in a crack and then just try ollieing like that put your wheels in a crack on the sidewalk so you're not moving so you don't roll back and forth and then just try an ollie like that that's gonna make it a little bit easier and a little bit more comfortable for you and then obviously you're not gonna be ollieing you know with your wheels in the crack every single time so once you feel comfortable and once you have your ollies a little bit higher then you know you start rolling and then you do them a little bit better and a little bit better and then a little bit higher and a little bit higher so yeah if you're if you're just starting you know to like get ollies and tr you're trying to get them good put your wheels in a crack or you could try it on some grass in your house on the carpet just stay stationary and then do ollies and then you just you just basically want to get comfortable with doing ollies these freaking planes man okay but anyway now if you're popping with your toes and not your whole foot on the tail and if the ollies are comfortable for you and if you can you know do ollies when you're rolling and if you just feel comfortable doing ollies and if you can't ollie but you're still not getting ollies as high as you would want them then what you're gonna want to do is when you ollie you want to bring your knees as high up as you can like you want to suck your knees up to your chest like you want to like I don't even know if that's actually possible when you do an ollie but that's that's what you want to feel that's what you want to feel like you're doing you want to get your knees as high as you can like you want to bring them all the way up to your chest and a good way to practice that is just to jump without your board just stand up and jump you know when you when you jump try and bring your knees as high as you can all the way to your chest and do that a couple of times you, you know imagine that your board is under you and you're doing an ollie and just jump bring your knees to your chest and then try it on your board try it stationary try it with a reel in a crack you know as long as you get comfortable bringing your knees that high up your ollies should work out for you like you're probably not gonna you know get comfortable with that and learn it all in the same day like it might take you a couple of days or whatever but that's the that's the main things that you guys are gonna want to do you're gonna want to pop with your toes not with your whole foot you're gonna want to bring your knees as high as you can when you ollie you want to try and bring them all the way up to your chest and you know just once you get comfortable with all of that you're just gonna want to roll and then do them while you're rolling do them off a curb do them over something do it over your board over another board like put your board something put your board like that and then just try and ollie over it but since you said you can't ollie over higher than 10 inches your skateboard is I don't, I don't think your skateboard is 10 inches wide so i'm pretty sure you can already ollie over a board but stack another board on top of it and ollie and try and ollie over that once you get comfortable with you know everything i just said with bringing your knees up to your chest and everything so all you're gonna want to do is jump bring your knees all the way up to your chest oh that kind of takes a lot out of you i'm not used to doing that anyway when you jump you want you're gonna want to try and bring your knees all the way up to your chest like that and now you're just gonna want to do the same thing with your board under you just like that you see you see how that works out when you pop down with your toes that makes the board snap really really quick and hard and when your trucks are tight that helps out a lot too and then we just put everything together with your knees going up and everything it should get you know you should get pretty pretty high you should get well over 10 inches and me i do skate pretty pretty tight trucks like they're i guess they're really tight because whenever somebody rides my board they're like oh my god your trucks are so tight but i'm gonna demonstrate my ollies with this because this i can make i can make this go pretty tall it's a it's a tripod and it, it lifts up pretty tall look at that so i'm gonna like demonstrate you know different sized ollies okay now this is way over 10 inches that's about I don't wait how how tall is that actually I don't know exactly how tall this is but it goes up to my knee so you guys can get like a picture of you know how how tall this is now when you pop with your toes put all your weight on your toes on your back toes on the tail and if you have tighter trucks you know if you're comfortable bringing your knees all the way up to your chest and everything like all those little steps I just told you then it should work out but like I said it's probably not gonna come in the first day or a couple of days you're gonna want to obviously you know practice and practice and whatnot but um yeah your ollie should get a lot higher than that That ollie was kind of sketchy, but whatever. All right, now I'm gonna make this a little bit higher. I'm gonna make it, it goes all the way up to there. I don't know, I don't even know if I can ollie this high. Look how high that is, can you guys see that? That's pretty high. I'm gonna do like half of that for right now. All right, let's see. Oh my gosh. My ollies are horrible, guys. But that's not my fault, look at my tail. Look how chipped it is. 
right, there we go. All right, now I'm gonna see if I can ollie the full length of this. It's about the size of my board, which is pretty tall. It's like, yeah, it's tall. Oh, wait a minute, that's actually really tall. I don't know if I can ollie over that. Guys, look, I took a little break and I started editing my video in this parking lot, right? As I was trying to ollie over my little tripod thingy, this truck came and parked right where I was filming. So I was like, all right, you know what? I'm just gonna sit here, chill, relax, and start editing my video. But then later on, they start building a freaking hot air balloon. Like, what the heck? This is so random. They just came here and built this freaking hot air balloon and now they're blowing it up. And I guess they're gonna freaking go in the sky. I mean, it's kind, it's kind of random, guys. Like, this parking lot is always empty as hell. It's a really nice parking lot, though. Look at it. It's always empty and there's no, never anybody here. And then these random people come and they just start building a freaking hot air balloon. Like, what the heck? If they get inside of it and they start going up, I'm gonna pick up the vlog again. But I just, I just, I just thought that was pretty funny and pretty random. Guys, look at this. What the heck? These people literally just built this hot air balloon like I watched them build it like they started with some like little pieces of wood and then they put together the little bottom part of it and everything in like five minutes what the heck I have no idea what they're doing but I'm about to film it look I still got my tripod right here and everything they built this so quick look this is my spot guy. guys I think this is gonna be like my new spot for making videos I love it here look at this guys look they're freaking they're floating, look. What the heck? Dude, that's sketchy. There's, they just built this thing in like five minutes and they're taking off in it. I gotta snap this, I gotta Snapchat it. Look, there they go. They're on their way to the top of the world. Wait, they're getting lower. What the heck? All right, you guys, that was a very weird way to end off this video, like a freaking hot air balloon being built right in front of me. What the heck? It's so random. They landed in the middle of the freaking dirt. I don't know if they crashed or if they landed. I don't know. That, that was weird. They just built a freaking hot air balloon right in front of me in like five minutes. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end off the video. Hopefully, these tips helped you guys out to anybody um, that has been wanting to ollie higher or even if, even if um, you can't ollie, but you want to learn how to ollie, hopefully, some of these tips helped you guys out. Hopefully it helped you out in the comments, the person that asked this question. If any of those you know, tips were helpful, if you guys think that it helped you out, definitely let me know in the comments. If there's another trick you guys want me to make a video like this one, I did about, did I say that right? If there's another trick you guys want me to make a video about, let me know in the comments. Um, the freaking hot air balloon is, is taking off again. And I am in my sister's car right now. No, I don't have a kid. That's my sister's kid, my niece. She, she asked me to put gas in her car and to, and to take it to the car wash. And me being a good brother, I said, okay, I'll do it. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna see you guys in my next video. If you guys liked the video, please leave a like. If you guys, you know, found any of these tips helpful, smash that like button. Guys, I'd never say smash that like button. This is my first time ever saying that. Smash that like button, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace. Subscribe if you're new. I forgot to say that. Peace.